Saturday, June 15th. Subra Mateus makes his debut on the zone in his home country of Puerto Rico against undefeated Liam Paro. Subra Mateus, one of the baddest men in boxing, one of the most devastating fighters you can watch. I mean, for those, because this fight has gone a little bit under the radar. It's gone a little bit under the radar. Liam Paro, undefeated, coming into this fight, wins over Montana Love and Brock Javis. First round knockout win, actually, in that fight. And he's kind of gone a little bit under the radar as well. If you need reminding of the knockout he had against Brock Javis, have a look on screen. That was a nice knockout. That was in the first round. What kind of comes to your mind when you think of that fight? What comes to your mind when you think of Liam Paro? I think of a fighter who has very good punching power, very good boxing fundamentals, but is unbelievably calm in there. I mean, this guy, one of the things I like when I see him is that no matter what situation it seems to be happening in the boxing ring, he just keeps his shape. He just keeps throwing his straight shots. He's got a good one too. He's got a good left hook. He's got a good right hand. And he just seems to be able to either get rid of these guys early or just gradually break them down like he did against Montana Love. And Subra Mateus, well, I mean, in case you don't know, have a look on screen. Yeah, Subra Mateus, a guy who comes forward. This is a guy who, in his victories, has knocked out every opponent he's faced. And I've said this once, I'll say it again. His last five fights, all bar one, have been undefeated. All bar one, on paper, have been very tough tests. And he hasn't just stopped all of his last five opponents. He's made all of them retire in their corner. I mean, people talk about Lomachenko at one point being Lomachenko. Subra Mateus, he is the guy. He is the guy who makes these guys go into the ring full of confidence, thinking he's not that good. And by the end of a few rounds, they're just thinking, I've been boxing my whole life. Maybe it's not for me. Maybe it's not worth it. And Subra Mateus is a fighter who throws a lot of arm punches. He sets a very high volume, a very fast pace. You do wonder if he actually sat down on some of those shots. God only knows the kind of power he could generate. This fight, to me, has gone under the radar. And it's a brilliant fight. It actually is a bit of a pick em fight. Because Liam Paro is not a, a gimme opponent. You know, this is Subra Mateus' first fight on the zone. This is his first fight working with Eddie Hearn on a different platform. He'd obviously been fighting on PBC beforehand. And normally when you see a fighter go onto a different network, go onto a different platform, they tend to kind of come in normally anyway, unless they're a really, really big name, with a kind of a, you know, a bit of a fight just to kind of, you know, get people familiar, this is who this is. Sometimes it's a mandatory, sometimes it's a, a, a kind of lesser of the top 15 voluntary. Liam Paro is no joke. And Subra Mateus is Subra Mateus. That's, that's what I got to say there. I think this fight has the recipe to be brilliant. I don't think we're going to see a fight go the distance. And I think we're going to see a knockout in this fight. Who it goes to, well, I'll tell you a little bit about that at the end. I'll talk over briefly my keys in this fight for both guys. Liam Paro, I always say it, it seems easy at first and you see fighters against Subra Mateus early on like Jeremiah Ponce have success I and mean, Jeremiah Ponce if you had told him or you told anyone looking on after the first round of their fight which happened in early 2023 that Ponce be out of there quit on a stool after five rounds you'd say after that first round not a chance Subra Mateus even if he has a bad round early on he's able to put that to one side and come out and still put it on you. Now, how mentally fatiguing for the opponent must that be? I know a lot of people look at Mateus and they think, well, he's a bit of an unsophisticated slugger. There is sophistication behind some of his work. There definitely is. And it's the fact that he's able to maintain that tempo nonstop throughout the course of a fight. He's not able to slow down. Fighters aren't able, even good fighters, aren't able to really put Subra Mateus in his place. Again, Jeremiah Ponce was able to stun Mateus. He was able to have a really good first round. He would have went back to his corner thinking, all right, if this is how it's going to be, this is going to be easy. I'm, I'm in for a nice night here. And he's back on you like that in the next round, like White is to Rice. And that's got to be demoralizing for the fighter. Someone like Liam Paro, who can keep it at range, he throws good long shots, he's very calm in there, keeps his shape very well. 
If he's having success against Mateus, but Mateus is backing him up to the ropes and putting him really on the back foot where he's shown good power, Liam Paro. But if you're putting someone on the back foot like that, very rare, very rare. There are exceptions like David Hay who could generate great power on the back foot while moving back. But more often than not, if you're on the back foot, it's going to take a little bit away from your punching power. And if Liam Paro has the power to bother Mateus, but he's on him, pushing him back and making him work at a pace that he's not comfy with, well then, it could make life pretty difficult for Liam Paro. Something that a lot of people don't do against Subran Mateus, from what I've seen, is really make an educated attack on his body. Because Mateus has great stamina, we can see that. This is a guy who, if a fight's going 12 rounds, he's throwing punches the full 12 rounds non-stop. He's breaking you down gradually. He's finding those holds. Liam Paro needs to be able to take the wind out of those tires. Take the air out of them. He needs to target Subran Mateus' body and invest in that body early on. He's also going to want to have to try himself. It could be risky. It could be very risky. But I look at Mateus and I think maybe actually trying to push him back and actually try and put his punch out put down. you got to bear in mind, this is a guy who relies a lot on throwing arm punches. Yes, there's great power behind those arm punches. Tremendous power behind them. But nevertheless, there's still arm punches. If you can slip a few of them, if you can take a few of them whilst pushing him back, you're actually going to drop his punch output. And that's really what Super Mateus is all about. He's high volume, he's punch output, he's coming forward constantly, he's setting a pace that you're not able to contend with. You're getting hit everywhere, every little opportunity he's trying to hit you and he's breaking you down. If you can just take him out of that rhythm, push him back, hit him to the body, I think Liam Paro is going to have a lot of success. And if he can keep his shape, because again, he's very calm in there, Liam Paro. If he can keep his shape, he could be onto something. You're Subran Mateus. You're thinking the you're basically going to do the opposite. You're going to want to literally just be on him like white is to rice. You're going to want to actually mess with his shape, try and get him looking all over the place in there. You're going to want to get his feet looking all over the place. You're going to want to get Liam Power out, just not comfy at all in there. You're going to want to hit him anywhere you can, and you're going to want to test his chin. You're going to want to see how good does Liam Power take a shot, because again, he's been in there with guys undefeated, haven't really shown any major fragility. They go in there and Mateus, they're getting dropped. Their eyes are getting smashed up. They're getting hurt in there. That's what Subra Mateus is all about. I think this fight is tremendous and I look forward to it. It will be shown live on the zone worldwide, so it should be easy enough to watch for all of us over here. I'm just wondering what time will it be on if it's Puerto Rico. I'm not 100% sure what the time difference is there, but it should be an epic fight. A fight that I'm really looking forward to. And I'm struggling with this one, people. I'm really struggling to get a pick because I genuinely think this is a very, very competitive fight. But I'm going to edge this fight to Subrail Mateus by late stoppage. Do I think it's going to be another on the corner? No, that's enough. Possibly. But I think this may be an accumulation of damage. And as good as Liam Paro is... I think you're going to find it very hard to be able to keep with Subran Mateus. Very hard. Like I said, this is one of the baddest men in boxing. And I think Subran Mateus is going to live up to that reputation, especially now that he has the home crowd to kind of cheer him on. This is a, this guy has the potential to be a big star. It's one of Eddie Hearn's better signings. So Subran Mateus to win this fight via stoppage in the late rounds. That's my pick. But let me know yours in the comment section below. As always, people, I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash the like button if you could. And subscribe, of course, as always, if you haven't already. And for now, people, I'll leave it there. Peace.